Midwest Carry Initiative Program, which is a program that was developed to educate high school women about being an orthopedic surgeon and about being a, an engineer and a doctor. This is an amazing opportunity. We have 39 young women here from all of the local high schools who applied to get into this program, and we are exposing them to six different orthopedic surgical operations here in the Apple Long Surgical Learning Center. Um, they have an opportunity to meet with engineers and residents and fellows and parents of attending surgeons and really develop mentorship relationships. Dr. Jacqueline Perry is one of the first women orthopedic surgeons. And so this is an initiative that's nationwide. It started in San Francisco. And uh, you know, women in orthopedics are pretty rare. We only represent about 5% of orthopedic surgeons. And so we're really trying to encourage young women to pursue this career uh, and to know that you know it's not just for men. This program started a few years ago, about four or five years ago in San Francisco. And this is actually the first program in the entire Midwest. So we're happy to bring it here to the they, you know, they arrived here this morning, they were issued scrubs, they changed it to their scrubs and they came to the classroom where we talked to them about a day in the life of an orthopedic surgeon or an orthopedic research engineer. And now they are learning how to suture, they are learning how to fix broken bones, how to put on uh, what, we call, what we call extra fixers, um, how to recreate knee ligaments, so it's a pretty busy day. They're all in high school now and so this is just an option for them and exposing them to this option I think is important because most young women don't necessarily get that kind of experience. There was absolutely nothing like this when I became a surgeon and even when I was little I showed them this morning how in nursery school I was afraid to say I wanted to be a doctor because the little girls were all saying nurse. Um, so you know there was no program like this uh, before just a few years ago. We're really trying to get them involved and, and, and have them know that this is not just for big strong guys. And you know mentors don't have to be women. Mentors can be men, men mentors can be women. Um, but I think that, and we emphasize that today, that it's really important so that, you know, they can see all of us women who are actually doing this. And, and if you see someone that you can relate to who's, who's doing it, I think it's a lot more likely that you might choose that path. We, we circulated the information to all of the local high schools, and these women actually filled out applications. They wrote essays, um, and then there was an app. There actually was a wait list for this, which, you know, maybe we'll have to do this more often because we really want to expose everybody who's interested. This is absolutely awesome. I, you know, I have come close to tears this morning because I just think it's so exciting. These young women are, you know, they're so enthusiastic. They can't wait to learn, and, and they're really thrilled. They're just thrilled to be here and, and, and be pursuing some of these things and learning. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's really awesome. It's been very competitive. Fourth meetings have been very competitive, and so the earlier that people start or develop an interest, I think that you know the better off they are. And, Sooner or later, these young women are, you know, they may be your surgeon in the future. You know, I think that for a lot of young women, this just doesn't even occur to them because they, if they ever get to an orthopedic surgeon, they generally have seen older males. And so, um, you know, for them to be able to see women who are in surgery and who have families and, and lives, um, I think they, it's more, they're more apt to be able to see themselves in it. And I think it's important to get women in the field. You know, one in 20 of any kind of physician being one gender or the other, I think is, you know, that's, that's not so good for humanity. I think diversity is important. I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm so thrilled today that all these young women are here and, and having such a great experience and, and hopefully enjoying this, this amazing day. So after we finish these three different procedures that they're getting to do, we're going to go and have some lectures from some engineers in the, in the field. Of course, they're women also. We'll have some lunch, then we'll come back, we'll do a few more different surgeries, and then we're actually going to have a panel of women residents and fellows and engineers so that the girls can ask, you know, ask any question they want about you know, living this life, pursuing this life, anything they like. And then after that, we encourage them to keep in touch with us as a type of mentorship program. Um, so it doesn't all end today.